Hi and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we're making McDonald's style french fries. Now I've made them before on my channel but I've had a lot of questions and it was a little bit long-winded and complicated. I'm going to simplify it. Well, simplify it. If you follow this recipe you need your head testing because it is a long-winded method but it's the only one that produces real good quality McDonald french fries. I've seen a lot of recipes out there where they're all limp and bent and the beauty of the McDonald fry is that it stays crisp from the point of cooking to the point of servicing and all throughout the eat. So I'm going to show you how to make those french fries and truly it's the only way but like I say there are better ways to make french fries and if you stay tuned to the channel very shortly I'll be making my steak cut fries which are absolutely delicious too. So let's get on and make these fries. Now firstly we want to cut our fries up. I've got some peeled potatoes here and you can either do it like I am here with a knife. There's a tool called a mandolin which has these little teeth and that cuts them perfectly like that. And also in an earlier video I used the food processor which can do them super quickly. Now when you finish cutting your potatoes you should have a whole bunch of these wonderful quarter inch french fries. Now I've got a big bowl of them down here. You might as well do lots since you're going to the trouble. And I'm using russet potatoes for these but check with your local greengrocers and see what are the best chipping potatoes in your area. Now these next stages are very important. I've got a couple of quarts or two litres of water in a large saucepan. I'm adding two tablespoons of salt into there and two tablespoons of white vinegar. Any white vinegar will do. And next we're going to take our french fries and pop them into this water. Then we're going to move that pot onto a high heat and bring it up to a boil and then we're going to simmer it for five minutes. Now if we didn't have the salt and the vinegar in the water they would boil to a mash and we don't want that. And also what they're doing is drawing out the natural starches which is going to give us the wonderful golden brown colour that we need for the McDonald's french fry. Now when the fries come up to a boil we'll turn those down to a simmer, pop your timer down five minutes, no longer than that and then we'll take them off the heat. Right, that's my alarm going off now. I'm just bringing them over to the sink. I've got a colander in the sink and I'm pouring away that hot water. So we've just drained the hot water off of there now. And you can see those fries, they're still solid. They're piping hot. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I've got a baking tray here and a clean kitchen towel. I'm bringing those fries over to there now and I'm just going to pour them on there. This will just help them completely dry off before I fry them. So you can probably still see the steam coming off there. Now we need to get our oil on now, whether you use a fryer like I am or whether you use a pan with some oil in it, you want to bring that oil up till it's at least 190 degrees Celsius, that's 370 Fahrenheit. And this is gonna be a very quick fry. So my oil is up to temperature now and I'm gonna fry these for no longer than 60 seconds. Let's just drop them in there. Now you want a timer on because 60 seconds from now we're taking these out. Okay, they've been in 60 seconds now. So we just want to pop those straight onto our plate. Now I've got another tray over here that I put paper towels onto. I'm gonna pop those French fries out onto there and we want them to cool down completely. I get on and do the rest of these. So now all those fries have been done for one minute. Now why do we fry them and only for one minute? Well basically what we've done is we've sealed the outside of that french fry and we've coated it in a beautiful little coating of oil which will protect it so it can be frozen for at least two or three months, no problem at all. Now why have we frozen them? Basically we need the little ice crystals to mash the inside of the potato, otherwise we'll have a fudgy interior and they won't get that lovely light crispy McDonald french fry. So they have to be frozen. So I've popped those fries now into a Ziploc bag like that. I'm going to pop them into the freezer and when they're frozen, I'll show you them fried. Now with the wonders of time travel or what I like to call the stop button on the front of that video camera, I've got my batch of fries here now. They're nice and frozen. We're going to take a batch of these out and pop them into the fryer. I've got my fryer back up to 190 degrees Celsius, 370 Fahrenheit. We're going to fry those for a little under three minutes until they're just perfect. Then I'm going to share them with you. So we're just going to drop those in there now. So we're going to bring those out now and we're going to let those drain. So I'll bring my fries over here now and I'm going to pour them into a little bowl with a bit of paper in there just to absorb some of the oil. Now you can see they actually smell just like McDonald's fries. I'm going to salt those up a little bit, give them a shake. Now, will you look at these? They look just like 
and smell just like McDonald's French fries. And now I've put them into my own personalized Steve's Kitchen French fry holder. And like I say, you can hear they're nice and crispy. Come down here, look, I've got my tomato sauce. I'm gonna pop one of my French fries in there. Here goes. They are so close to the real thing. As I said to you before, if you're crazy enough to follow this recipe, then you must be a die-hard McDonald's fan. I'm gonna be doing some steak cut chips or fries very shortly, so join me for that. Please share the love, give this one the thumbs up. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be good, I'll see you next time. So I got the packaging, I got the fries. Shall I set up my own chain of shops? <laughs> I don't think so. I'll leave the link here to some other videos. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Be good, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.